Hi, this is Mike Smith from TwoAverageJoes.com, and today I'm going to go over the need for procedures. Um, in future posts, I'll go over the particular procedures that we use in our office all the time. Um, but today I just want to kind of quickly go over why you should have procedures. Procedures are there to cover uh, the decision-making process when you're not there. Uh, a lot happens. I know in our office, I mean, there's only five of us, four of us in the office, and it's amazing how much work and how many things come up during the day. And it happens that we're not always available, uh, my brother and I. And so we want to make sure that the decisions being made are following the way we would want them to be as if we were there. So we create procedures. Now, we do not create procedures. I know I should sit down and write them all out and I probably will start to do that more and more because I'm going to be using uh, these video blogs to go through them but I don't do that. Um, it's mainly as a crisis comes up and uh, questions are asked I have to sit down and think about them though I've done it before. So we're trying to eliminate the, the thinking of the tedious mundane uh, that we do every task that we do every day or maybe not every day maybe every closing or how we rehab a property or things like that so that's that's what procedures are for we want to be the McDonald's of uh, real estate in our business uh, McDonald's has everything decided on ahead of time if you've ever worked for them there's a big procedure manual and and if you have a question and there's not a manager around to answer that you can find that answer in the book so what do procedures do they create standards uh, for everyone to follow they provide structure for employees the same decision every time uh, there's no thought on something like um, closing your, your closing documents there's enough things that come in when uh, you're going to close that you want to make sure that you have all the documents you're going to need to sign that you've contacted the notary if they're coming to you which that's the way we do it um, a whole list of things that that are done prior to us signing and having a procedure for that every time that that someone can check just makes life easier for everyone it eliminates guesswork you create it once and everyone can follow it every single time. What, what procedures should you create? Absolutely everything. Everything you can think of. If you have to make a decision more than once, there should be a procedure. Then you can hand it off and someone else can check it off and then you can go through. Uh, and then once that's done, you know everything the way you would have done it even if you have to do the checklist is done the same way We're, we are creating procedures for what do you do after the purchase contract is signed for the property signing escrow documents make sure that we have all the documents in the packet and then we know which are signed and which get signed and notarized after the escrow closes several things have to happen after that and it takes several people to do that well rather than having them think okay what do I need to do and we hit the major items but we let those little things go through that's what we're trying to eliminate rehab many things that we have to go through in the rehab turning on electricity uh, ordering materials getting a budget whatever it is we want to have a checklist for it and there's many more um, here's some examples of uh, procedures uh, one example that we do I, this one is procedure after the contract is signed that's for when we sign a purchase agreement um, and we bring it back to our office and a whole bunch of things can happen now uh, first thing is as you can see here on the list is the sales manager reviews a contract for confirming closing date are we doing a 21 day close is it a 30 day close are there contingencies all those things that go into it we want um, we want to make sure that the sales manager or acquisition team you know right now our sales manager does it but eventually 
we'll probably get to a size where we might have an acquisition team and they'll do up to a point and then hand it off to the sales manager and at that time we'll revise the, the procedure but going through this quickly the sales manager opens escrow we deal with one title company it makes it easier they know who we are they know what we do uh, they know how we like to have things done um, sales manager will confirm the name on the title if it's a short flip it's JM2 investment properties if it's a long term hold it's Smith Brothers properties LLC so all these items is listed out and then we'll have a checklist here of that will go in the front of our binder for the property so if I need to look at it or my brother wants to look at it to see oh has this been done they can go there and they can check it off so that's the that's the need for the property um, or for procedures and in the next uh, few posts I'm going to go in depth into uh, what procedures we're doing what we're creating um, and so you can see how we're running our business so I'll talk to you later thank you bye